Praise the Lord. This is the wretched knucklehead here. Um, if we could turn our Bibles to uh, Luke chapter 10, and we'll be examining verses uh, 38 to 42. That's Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Now it came to pass, as they went, that he entered into a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was cumbered about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word, taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of God. Uh, that just been heard and let it be a blessing to us in Jesus name. So we see in verse 38 of Luke chapter 10, um, it starts off uh, and now they it came to pass as day. And this is day to Jesus and his disciples as they're going out doing their ministry, preaching and teaching the, the, the kingdom of God, the gospel, the good news as it were. And so they come to, uh, as it says, and they've entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha received him into a house. So Jesus, alongside with his disciple, come into the house of Martha. Martha receives him and the guest. And, and then it says in verse 39, and she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus's feet and heard his word. So let's get this background going on. Um, Jesus comes into the house, Martha, Martha's house, if you will, and receives Jesus and the rest of the disciples. Then they go into, a, I guess, a like a, a living room, and they they rest the Jesus and the disciples. And then here comes Martha, and excuse me, Mary, um, Martha's sister, and she's reclining at, at Jesus's feet and just listening to Jesus. You know, speak or preach the or preach some words because it said she sat at Jesus' feet, Mary, and heard his word. And meanwhile, while that's going on, Martha's you know receiving this guest and probably hungry and, and you know getting uh, preparing a meal for them. So she goes to the kitchen and starts getting the pots ready and gets the food ready and and she's getting you know everything ready, everything prepared for the for Jesus and the disciples. Meanwhile, Mary, the sister, is with Jesus and lying at his feet and just listening to Jesus talk. Verse 40 of Luke chapter 10. But Martha was cumbered about much serving. And she, she, she's getting, you know, getting all busy, getting the pots, turning on the stove, Preparing the meal. She, that's that's all her focus is on. That's all her focus. Meanwhile, Mary is sitting there relaxing at Jesus' feet, listening to his word. Now, you know, society, the way society is like, you know, we look at what Mary's doing and say that's she's being lazy and irresponsible. But Martha, she's doing, the, you know, the culturally acceptable thing. To, to, to receive the guests and get them ready. And, and you know, that's, that's her focus. And then we look at the other part of verse 40. And came to him and said, Lord, does not, not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. So, you know, could you imagine Martha pops into the living room? Well, she's got everything ready and she just sees, what does she see? She sees her sister, Mary, sitting at Jesus' feet with the other disciples. And she just, all she's listening there, just listening. 
sitting there. And, and, and she sees that. She gets enraged. And then she gets right in the middle. And she kind of scolds the Lord. And says, Lord, this sister of mine is no good, lazy, syphilis. She doesn't pay rent here. She just sits there and, 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 and pops on the couch. And, 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 and she doesn't do anything. And, and now we have guests. And, 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 you know, you think that she would come and help me. And she's sitting there just doing the, what she normally does. Come on, Lord. Tell her to come and help me. And I'm, I'm trying to serve. And she's like, just mean, left me alone. And now this is, and again, what's culturally accepted, what socially accepted, what, you know, we think that what Martha is saying is, yeah, how did she just sit there and, and then she's back, there, you know, preparing the meal and she's sitting there and with all these 12 men that she has to prepare and you're just sitting there and, and, and you know, and then she's saying, and she's saying this to the Lord. And then here's the thing some awesome what the Lord says in verse 41. And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, thou art careful and troubled about many things. But one thing is needful. And Mary hath chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. See, you know, I'm so good. It was so nice about our Lord and Savior, just his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Because it seems like Jesus was defending what appeared to be with what Mary was doing, lazy, slipless, irresponsible. And, and Jesus says, this one thing that is needful, and she's chosen the good part to sit at Jesus' feet and hear his word. And that will never be taken away from her. See, Jesus wasn't, if you will, rebuking Martha because she was serving. I mean, Jesus was rebuking her because she was careful and troubled about many things. You know, we 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 tend to want to focus, the, you know, on the results instead of enjoy the process, take pleasure in the process. You know, those that wait on the Lord. He shall renew their strength, their strength. They shall mount up like eagles with wind. They will, they will, they will run and not be weary, and they will walk and not faint. See, Martha was just like you know, was was fearful, and anxious, and anxiety, and concerned to to get everything ready. And and, and there's there's Mary. Seeing the, the Lord Jesus Christ. This is, this is the same Lord Jesus Christ who, who fed a multitude of 5,000, not including men, and but not including women and children. 5,000 men, not including women and children. One time he fed 4,000 men, not including women and children, with just a small morsel. And then here we thinking... If we will to, and and Martha wants to, if you will, just go focused on the results. And there's 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 Mary sitting there and taking in and and hearing his words and he, and and, he, and she's doing it at his feet. You know, there's something about you know being at Jesus's feet, you know, and where 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 it's it's a, it's the place, if you will. Where we could we could be recipients and beneficiaries of everything that Jesus is, everything that He is, His forgiveness, His kindness, His grace, His mercy. I mean, something about just being at Jesus' feet. You know, in Mark chapter five, verse twenty-two, it speaks about when Jairus heard that Jesus was in town, and this the religious leader. The ruler of the synagogue came to Jesus and, and the Bible says he 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 laid down at his feet and and and, and worshiped him and, and, and requested that 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 his daughter was dying and if he could just lay his hand on her, she'd she'd be healed. In in, in Mark chapter 7, verse 22, it speaks about a Greek Syrophoenician woman who had a daughter that was plagued with 
with devils, who's, who's plagued with devils. And, and here there's a, a Gentile woman coming at Jesus' feet and requesting that you know, cast out these, these demons from my daughter. In, in Luke chapter 17, verse 16, it, it, it talks about how there was 10 men who were, had leprosy. 10 men who had leprosy. And, 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 and Jesus healed them. And told them to go to the high priest so that they could examine you. And as the ten were going, one of them turned around and went back to Jesus. And the Bible said that one that was a, was a Samaritan, a stranger. And he went back to Jesus and he fell down at his feet and he worshipped him at his feet. And then in Luke chapter 7, verse 38, it, it talks about this woman who... Who came into a, 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 Pharise a Pharisee's house by the name of Simon and saw Jesus and 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 she was overcome with so much joy and she had an alabaster box and and, and the Bible says that she broke the alabaster box and and went to Jesus's feet and anointed Jesus and and, and with her tears wa washed his feet and anointed him with his oil, with, with with that alabaster oil and. And 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 it was, you know, at, at his feet. And, you know, and, and it was interesting because the the the, the, the Pharisee, Simon, uh, who, who's the, the who had who in that the, the person of the house, he 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 stood and he saw this whole thing kind of happen. And, and he went to, you know, he said with himself, the Bible says in Luke chapter seven, he said with himself, if this man were a true prophet, he would have known that this woman is a sinner. And, you know, Jesus reading his mind, <laughs> Jesus said, you know, Simon, I may I have a word with you. He said, say on. <laughs> and then Jesus gave this like a simple parable to so that there was a man, a creditor, and there was two people that owed him m money. One owed him like, I, I'm just saying this all the time, I like about, you know, $1,000 and another owed a hundred dollars and so he says to the the, the, the the he says that the credit then just said you know what i i forgive you both you, you you know it's all taken care of don't worry about it and then jesus posed the question to simon says now who do you think would be more appreciative and then, you know simon said i i guess the one who owed the most and then jesus said you're right and then jesus turned around to this woman the sinner, if you will, that was at Jesus' feet. He said, you know, ever since I came to your house, you didn't give me any water. You, you, didn't, you, you, didn't, you didn't wash my feet or anything like that. But this woman, since she stepped into the house, all she's been doing was just washing my feet with her tears. And you didn't do that. This woman, you, you know, you, when I came to your house, you didn't greet me with a kiss anything like that but this woman since she came in she's been kissing at my feet and 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 you you know you know when i came in your house you didn't anoint my head with oil which would have been the customary thing to do and, and you didn't do that but this woman took this alabaster box and been anointing my head my, my feet <laughs> and, then, and then and then he just says something very powerful to 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 this religious leader simon and all the other guests that was in that house. He says, you know, her sins, which were many. So that lets us know that Jesus knew that she had sins. Her sins, which were many, are forgiven. For who has much been forgiven will love much. But who has been less forgiven will love less. See, she knew. And then Jesus then turns now his, his attention to her. And then he says, you know, to the woman. After he already talked to the Pharisees, he says, thy sins are forgiven. This is what he's saying to, to the woman. And then, you know, then, then you know, they, they, you know then they, the, the Pharisees and Simon are like saying, who, who is this that he could forgive sins? And at this point, Jesus is not even paying attention. To he just looks to this woman at his feet. And he says, thy faith have saved thee. Go in peace. You see, this is the place, again, 
at Jesus' feet, where, where Mary was, where he heard his word, where, where she was now to be the, the recipient, the beneficiary, the, you know, to receive all that Jesus is at his feet. And the one that Jesus says, but one thing is needful, and Mary has chosen the good part, which shall not be taken away from her. You know, as we carry on, carry out through this, this encounter that, that Jesus has with, you know, Mary and Martha. I want to turn our attention to John chapter 11. John chapter 11, it speaks of, it speaks of, uh, it starts the way, uh, John chapter 11 starts off with, um, you know, Jesus gets word that his Martha and Mary, they have a brother named Lazarus. He gets word that they're sick. And I want you to look at, um, Verse 5 of John chapter 11. It says, Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister Mary and Lazarus. So he loved them. He loved all these all these. He loved Martha. He loved Mary. And he loved Lazarus. So Jesus hears word that, that um, Lazarus is sick and to, to come and to minister to him. But Jesus stays for two days. And you know, so there's all this that is going on. And then after the two days, he goes now to Bethany to, to to minister. And he tells like some great powerful insights about that God is going to be glorified through this sickness. And we're going to see God. And, and he's kind of leading up to this. So we, we look at um, John chapter 11, verse 17. And let's just kind of pick up. So now he's come. Now it's now four days four days since he got the uh, the information because he waited two days so and now comes it's the fourth day and so we pick up on verse 17 then when Jesus came he found that he had lain in the grave four days already so now Lazarus is dead he was gravely sick when he got the message and now it comes at the fourth day now he's, he's dead four days in the grave Verse 18. Now Bethany was nigh unto Jerusalem, about 15 furlongs off. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Remember, Martha was the one the you know, fear, oh, fearful, anxious, anxiety, telling Jesus, you know, my sister not helping, tell her to help her. So we, we see kind of like a that, that attitude is still in Martha. Just watch this. Then, verse 21 of John chapter 11, then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it to thee. So she's looking at like if you would have been here, she's looking at like, like Jesus like the past, he would have been alive. She's looking at Jesus in, in the past. But but then then he says, oh, oh, oh. and then watch this. Yeah, but in verse twenty two, but I know that that even now, whatsoever thou will ask of God, God will give it to thee. Verse 23, Jesus saith unto her, thy brother shall rise again. Saying, your, your, your brother's going to rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. She, she's talking about the future. So she, when she was like saying, if you'd have been here, my, my brother would have been alive. She thought, she's thinking about, you know, in terms of the past. And then, you know, Jesus says, Jesus says, oh, <laughs> You, thy brother will rise again, and 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 you know, because Jesus told him he's he's gonna he's gonna rise again. Now I'm I'm the Jesus of, of now. But then she hears that, but she's now thinking now the past, the future, because she says, okay, yeah, I know that he shall you you know I know that he shall rise again, my brother, 
in the resurrection at the last day in the future. So sometimes we think of Jesus in the past and sometimes we think of Jesus in the future, but not the Jesus of the right now. And look what Jesus says to Martha to really minister to her. Verse 25, Jesus said, I, I said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Dost thou believe this? He's saying right now. I'm Jesus right now. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And he that believed though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that live and believe me shall never die. Dost thou believe this? And so... So, you know, she's putting that in the ear of Martha. And then the notice, and let's jump down to verse, how, how he's ministering, if you will, to, to Mary. If we go down, to, if we just read it, verse 27. She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. And when he had said so, she went her way and called Mary. Remember Mary, the one that in Luke chapter 10, he said, you know, she's not doing it. This is the same Mary. So it said, Mary, her sister secretly saying, the master is come and call her for thee. And as soon as she heard that, she arose quickly. Look at that. Could you imagine? Brother's dead. She hears that Jesus calling. You can imagine the emotions that's going running through. Through Mary. As soon as she heard that, she rose quickly and came unto him. Now, Jesus was not yet come into the town, but when but was in the place where Martha met him. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, comforted her. When they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then, when Mary was come where Jesus was, Watch this. And saw him. She fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been there, my brother had not died. She said the same thing that Martha said. Same emotions. But guess what? She did it at his feet. At, at the, 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 this is the same Mary that was at Jesus' feet. And hearing his word when 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 she came in, when when Jesus and the disciples came to the house, and now she's at Jesus' feet, if you will, emotions are roar and, and and maybe exhibiting some 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 it's the same thing that Martha had done. If thou would have been here, Lord, my brother would have lived. But she's doing it at his feet. See something about just being at his feet. I mean, you know, spiritually speaking. In a, in a, in a, in a, it's not based on circumstances, situations surrounding, but when you're at his feet. And this is where Mary is. And so what happens? We know the rest. And Jesus and goes to the grave where um, Lazarus is and says, Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. And he comes out and, they, you know, he's, he comes out and they said, let, you know, he's come all bounded up. He walks out and see this great move. They move, they, at first they move the stone and he just comes out and, and they said, loose him and let him go. And so when we look at John chapter 12, we see something interesting. John chapter 12. Then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany where Lazarus was, which had been dead. Lazarus was dead, four days dead, whom he had raised from the dead. <laughs> he was four days dead, and Jesus raised him from the dead. And now he's, you know, lounging with Jesus, feasting this, this, this Passover meal with Jesus. He was dead, and now the next day he's feasting with Jesus. And, and then look at this, verse 2 of John chapter 12. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. Look at Martha served. See, in Luke chapter 10, remember when she was served, when left serving alone, she came into the room and started scolding Jesus, scolding her sister, rebuking Jesus, rebuking her sister. 
she was she she served she was serving but you know she was serving with with anxiety and with, with, with concerns and and with with, with, with care and, and and she she wasn't at rest she was you know but now after she's seen this great miracle and witnessed and now realizing that Jesus is the resurrection and the life that who Jesus is now and, and, and all we see in John chapter 12 verse 2 Martha served she served she knew now who Jesus was the resurrection and the life and then but Lazarus was one of them that had sat at the table with him and watch this now this is Mary now look, look, look what's what this encounter has done to Mary the one who we saw in Luke chapter 10 who sat at Jesus' feet and then Mary then took Mary a pound of appointment of Spinkner very costly anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet so she started with his feet you know in Luke chapter 10 even when she was going through the, 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 the her brother being four days dead she's still at Jesus feet even even you know expressing her grief about this to Jesus and now after she's at Jesus' feet anointing it and wiped his feet with her hair and the house of was filled with the odor of ointment then saved one of the disciples Judas Iscariot Simon's son which should betray him why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence so this ointment was pretty expensive and given to the poor then he said this is Jesus not that he cared for the poor but because he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein then said Jesus let her alone against the day of my burying hath she kept this for the poor always ye have with you but me ye have not always look at that Jesus is defending Mary once again you know what she's doing is special to, 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 to Jesus and I want us to look at and before we close I want us to look at Mark chapter 14 his version of the same event that um, John records in John chapter 12 in Mark chapter 14 I want you to see what Jesus says about this about Mary Mark chapter 14 And watch this. This is, this is recording. So we'll jump to verse four just for. So we're getting this, you know. Mark chapter 14, verse 4. And there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence. And have been given to the poor, and they murmured against her. They murmured against, you see, they murmured against Mary. You know, Martha, sister, and Luke Chen murmured against Mary. And these, you know, these were, these were Jesus' disciples that murmured against Mary. Something about when you, when when you're looking to Jesus, there's always somebody that just, you know, they don't, they don't, they murmur against you. So anyway. And in verse 6 of Mark chapter 14, and Jesus says, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on for me. Look, Jesus recognized that she did a good work. Because remember in Luke chapter 10, he was like, oh, you know, I've been serving. And But Jesus sees that, if you will, what it says, she hath wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always. Verse 7 of Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 14. For ye have the poor with you always. And whensoever ye will, ye may do them good. But me, ye have not always. She hath done what she could. She has come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be um, spoken of for a memorial of her. Wow. The, the, the Mary who 
that the world would have just looked at as being irresponsible, being lazy, and not helping out uh, uh, Martha who's working and, and serving the Lord. And Jesus took this, took this time to say that wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that, that she hath done shall be spoken of, of a memorial of her. You see, Mary, this Mary, was the only one that got a chance to anoint Jesus' body before he died. Because, because every the the, the 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 remember when he when when he was buried and and, and he died and he was buried and the, the Marys came to anoint his body, they didn't get a chance to. Because he was, you know, already resurrected. But Mary's the only one, the last person before Jesus died. To, to anoint Jesus' body. And that will be a memorial spoken of her when you're thinking about the gospel. And that's the gospel. Remember, one thing is needful. And Mary chose that was the good part. And that will never be taken away. And that is to be at his feet, to rest in the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let's uh, keep our dear sister, sister Renee, rolling in prayer at this time. Her family, um, the powerful woman of God, let's just keep her family in, in, in our prayer. All right. God bless. Agape love.